Most people are unaware of traumatic brain injury or TBI. It's a lifelong consequence. It has lifelong consequences. Dr. Rob is in to tell us what to expect from this common injury. Dr. Rob, welcome back. It's great to be here. And it is a very common injury. And unfortunately, there's 52,000 people a year that die from traumatic brain injuries. And they come from falls, motor vehicle accidents, motorcycle accidents, skiing injuries, a lot of sports injuries. And it's somewhere between one and a half to four million people every year suffer a traumatic brain injury. And that's really a lot of numbers. And unfortunately, a lot of our veterans who come back from combat, about 30% of them suffer traumatic brain injuries. And I deal a lot with them and helping them recover from their traumatic brain injuries as well. You mentioned falling. So if I just, you know, no one knows about, you know, it's a very common injury that no one knows about. But you mentioned falling. So let's say you have a baby or a child that falls a lot. And you might not know about this. How, do you, how does it get diagnosed? How do you detect, you know, TBI? And it can be difficult because those, the signs and symptoms of concussion, mild concussion, more severe concussions, can be difficult to see. But what we start to notice afterwards, after the recovery period, is people start having cognitive problems. They have difficulty with their thinking. They have difficulty with speech. They feel foggy in their brain. They actually aren't, don't feel very energetic. And it, all these things start to add up and they go, geez, I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like I used to do. And they have these headaches and frustration. Sometimes they have attention deficit problems and mood swings. And all this really adds up. And one of the bigger problems is that they start to have hormone dysfunction because of the inflammation that's in the brain and the disruption that occurs inside the brainstem. And I know we have a, uh, a visual that we can show of the brain so people can understand in the Dayton area what we're talking about. And here we're looking at the brain. And you see that green area, it's called the hypothalamus. And just below the hypothalamus is a little pink area called the pituitary gland. And in that space is just a little thread that connects the two. And the disruption between that causes the hormone imbalances that we see with traumatic brain injury. And it's a spot that's located right here, right here on the brain stem. This is a human brain stem. Okay. It's just this little spot right here. And it causes all this dysfunction. Well, there's things that we can do to improve their health well, and get rid do? of all these symptoms. And many times it's just simply replacing those hormones that are no longer functioning because of the insult of the brain and that traumatic injury. Well, brain disabilities are often known as like invisible disabilities. No one can see them. So like you said, do they have to come in and get diagnosed? You know, you, you showed us a picture of the brain, and the common person is not going to know that there's something wrong in their hypothalamus. So exactly. what can they detect, exactly. you know, personally to let them know that, hey, I might have something going on. I might have TBI. I might need to come see Dr. Rob. Yeah, and that's a great <laughs> question, Amber. What people start to sense is, geez, I don't feel like myself. I'm having difficulty thinking. My attention, my focus isn't the same. I, I don't comprehend things as well. I'm fatigued during the day. And it starts to spill over in other parts of their lives. They start to suffer from anxiety, some depression. And those things start to add up. And that's usually when we can start doing testing. And that may include MRIs, CAT scans, and looking at a comprehensive hormone pa panel so we can see what their hormones are doing as well. Real quick, is TBI easy to treat? Uh, it can be in some cases, and then there's other cases it can be very difficult depending on the level of the injury. And we all know about those celebrities that we've seen in skiing accidents out west, yeah. right? They're at some big part of Or even like your head professional and, athletes with concussions. And we see that as well too, right? Well, Dr. Rob, how can we find you? Well, you can find us at the Alpha Male Medical Institute where we treat women as well. We do have a large contingency of veterans that we take care of with traumatic brain injuries uh, returning from combat also. All right. Well, Dr. Rob, thank you so much. Thank and for giving us all that great information, let's send it over.